address Imam Islam on this night and we ask him that he should give us something as well too. We've come here, it's the night of Ramadan, we've spent this whole month worshipping, fasting, praying, Quran. It's not just for vain, it's not to just go back and be the same person. We want to change, we want to be affected and become better people through this experience. As-salamu alayka ya Rasulallah As-salamu alayka ya Amir al-Mu'min Ya Ali ibn Abi Talib يا مولانا والسيدنا إنا توجهنا واستشفعنا وتوسلنا بك إلى الله وقدمناك بين يدي حاجاتنا يا وجيان عند الله اشفع لنا عند الله يا وجيان عند الله اشفع لنا عند الله let us adopt the guise of mourners by casting our heads down, trying our best to bring tears to our eyes, and thinking about the tragedy, and trying to picture that we are there, and feeling the grief of the Ahlul Bayt on this night. Ya Ali ibn Abi Talib, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-'ali al-'azim. It is the 21st night of the month of Ramadan. The house of Imam Ali alayhi salam has turned into a house of grieving and sadness. Muhammad ibn Hanafiya, the son of Imam Ali alayhi salam, reports that because of the poison from the sword, Imam Ali alayhi salam's feet had turned red. His face was so yellow that the band that was covering the wound had become the same color as his face. We stood helplessly there, looking at our father, breathing his last in this world. Zainab alayhi salam goes to her father and she asks him, she says that I heard from Umm Ayman that one day I will be taken in the same city of Kufa as a prisoner. And I will be fearful that people will loot the camps. Is that true, O oh my father? Imam Ali salam says, Yes, O oh my daughter Zainab, this is true. Have patience on that day. Imam Ali salam is now breathing his last on the night of the 21st of Ramadan, which happened to be a Thursday night as well. He exclaims to his sons and daughters, Hada Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ali. I now see the Messenger of Allah, and I see my uncle Hamza, and I see my brother Ja'far, and the great companions of Rasulullah. They are telling me, Ajil qudumaka alayna. Hurry up and come to us, so I bid you farewell, my family. I pray that Allah may protect you all, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient as a protector. He stretches his legs towards the qibla, he puts his hands beside him, he closes his eyes and he whispers, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and then he has no pa he has no partner. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammad an abduhu wa rasoola. I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and his messenger. And then he breathes his last, and he leaves this world. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. 
At that point, Zainab sallallahu alayha and Umm Kulthum and all of the women begin to cry loudly. They have lost their father. They have lost Amir al Mu'mineen. The streets, the people in the streets of Kufa come to know what has happened and they come wave after wave to bid farewell to their master. But we have to say on this night to Zainab sallallahu alayha to be brave and to be courageous. This is not going to be the last test for you. Right now you have a Hussein and a Hassan and Abbas with you. But there will come a time when it will just be you alone who is watching your brother on the battlefield. On that day of Ashura, when Imam Hussein alayhi salam was fighting the last stand, there was no one there for him except for Zainab sallallahu alayha. After some hours of lying in the desert sand, wounded, so many wounds from arrows and swords, Imam Hussein alayhi salam realizes that the end is near. He raises his eyes to the heaven and he bids farewell and he says, Sabran ala qada'ika ya rabbi la ilaha siwak. He says, I am patient in what I have to do, my Lord. But Zainab realizes what is going to happen now. She cries out, Wa Muhammada, Wa Bata, Wa Aliya, Oh my, oh Muhammad, oh my father, oh Ali. This is Hussein in the open slain in Karbala. She's Desperate, she doesn't know what to do. She looks at the army of the enemy and she cries to them. She says, Wa'ihakum ama fikum Muslim. Woe be to you, is there no Muslim man among you to come to the aid of the grandson of your prophet? But instead of responding to their call, Umar ibn Sa'ad shouts at them and says, Put him to rest. Shimu comes forward. Mal'oon kicks the Imam with his foot. And then he sits on his chest. He takes a hold of his holy beard. Salamullahi alayki ya Zainab. Assalamu alayka ya Amir al اللهم أحينا على ما أحيت أحيت عليه علي بن أبي علي بن أبي طالب وأمتنا على ما مات عليه علي بن أبي طالب. May Allah سبحانه وتعالى help us to live the life of Amir al-Mu'min Ali bin Abi Talib. May he help us to die the death of Amir al-Mu'min Ali bin Abi Talib. May he grant us the true love of the Ahlul Bayt Ali bin Salam. May he grant us that special connection with the Ahlul Bayt Ali bin Salam. May we make them our guides in this world and in the hereafter. May He never separate us from them in this world or in the hereafter. May He guide us, may He help us on these nights of Ramadan to achieve the objective of fasting and the other worship that we perform. May Allah help us build strong, unified, focused families that are working together as teams to worship Allah and to guide each other towards perfection. May He help relieve our problems the difficulties that we are facing um, with the special attention and help of Amir al Ali al-Mumin, Ali al-Mumin, Talib al-Hussain, Salawat al